What is up everyone? Welcome to my channel. Uh, today we are going to grab some coffee or tea, water, whatever your poison is, and chat about new makeup releases. There's a lot that has launched <laughs> and I was just peeking around the Ulta site this morning and I was like, dang, and there's a lot of like drugstore new launches that just caught my eye that I'm genuinely really excited to try. I'm excited to share all of that. There's just tons of new stuff to talk about. So I used to call these videos anti-haul and wishlist. I'm changing the title because I heard from, I got some feedback from a lot of you guys that said you never click on them because you never really understood what they were and so you just kind of scrolled on past. So hopefully this has drawn in some more of you guys that have never seen one of these videos. I think you're going to like it or you won't. Don't let me know. It'll hurt my feelings. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, so cheers. This video is very kindly sponsored by Orby Parker. Those are the glasses I am always wearing. I am so excited to continue my partnership with them. So if you've never heard of Warby Parker, it is the eyeglasses brand that I use, that my husband uses. We absolutely love it. They offer everything you might need for your eyes, eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, eye exams. And the best part is you can shop with them in store, but you can also do it all online, which is how we have done it. And I love that glasses start at $95. Um, that even includes prescription lenses. It's really affordable compared to when you go and buy them from other eye places. My goodness, they can get so expensive. It's like it's truly ludicrous how expensive some glasses can be. But I love it because you can take a little quiz with your preferences and things that you like when it comes to eyeglasses. And then you can pick out five different frames to be sent to your house for free to try on. So you can really get an idea of what they look like on your actual face. I recently tried out some new ones and I am just still absolutely loving the ones that I have now. These are the Esme ones. It's my favorite style. I also own the Vaughn style, which I love too. They give you a prepaid return shipping label. So like I said, there's no obligation. You're not paying anything for shipping. And if you fall in love with one, then you could go forward with ordering. If you don't, then you don't have to. And I love that about it. I also like that they have blue light filtering lenses. So for me, I've got my prescription in them, but I also have like the anti-glare and I have blue light protection. So I feel like when I'm, when I'm wearing these more than anything is when I'm at my computer. So I love that I've got that added protection to it. And if you're someone that you just want glasses with blue light and you want to wear glasses with your contact lenses, you could just get a pair of glasses just with the blue light filter on them and then wear your contacts with them because sometimes we just like the way we look in glasses. Okay. <laughs> okay. But they really do have so many different frames to choose from. I know that if you were in need of glasses, you were going to find one that you absolutely love. So if you want to try on five pairs of glasses for free from Warby Parker, you can go to warbyparker.com slash Jessica Braun and order that home try on kit. I really think you will end up falling in love with something. So I will have that link right at the top of the description box. And thank you Warby Parker for sponsoring this portion of the video and for making really cute glasses. <laughs> so I'm going to take these off as we go into it because um, I just feel like there's always a glare on it with my lights and everything. So it's just easier to not be wearing them. So let me pull up Ulta's, uh, my Ulta app. Oh, this lippy. I'll link everything makeup wise that I'm wearing down below. So the lip product is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Gloss Plump. This is really nice. It's definitely plumping. The shade I have is Moonlit Rose. It's definitely slightly plumping, but it has that tingle and it's not a painful tingle. It's like a nice minty tingle and I'm digging it. I feel like it is like making my lips look a little bit smoother than normal. So new arrivals. Let me just do makeup filter by category. Yeah, there we go. I was doing this on my computer earlier. So, okay. looks like they have a whole bunch of tartan and twine, like new launches of different makeup bags and weekender bags. Um, I mean, there's so many to choose from, but it looks like there's a lot that just launched that look really cute. So if you're in need of a makeup bag, this floral one is really, really cute. There's a deluxe weekender and then there's like a little pencil case, smaller one. That one is adorable. I do not need one. So I'm going to walk away, but it does look really pretty. So first thing after, of course, the makeup bags is this Tula Radiant Skin Brightening Serum Skin Tint Sunscreen. <laughs> it's the longest name ever. Okay, this looks awfully similar to, at least packaging wise, to this Tower 28 Sunny Days SPF and it's tinted. I freaking love it. This I don't use like as an SPF, I use it as makeup because I don't put enough on to feel like it's enough protection. I don't know. Anyway, 
but this seems like basically the same idea where it's got some like skincare in it it's got spf there's a tint so it says it's a buildable light to medium coverage with good for you ingredients to help brighten an even skin tone so there's a lot of shades it's 40 dollars but man that is like my favorite kind of product like that is exactly what i love it is interesting to me that they're launching this right now when we're heading into fall. Well, I guess I should say half the world is, well, not even half. Anyway, <laughs> I can't get into it. But I feel like this would be one of those things that, especially like launching in America, you'd think they'd launch it in spring. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like as you head into it. So just an interesting launch time. But totally, totally on my list I might buy because I know myself. I will love this or I'll hate it, but it's definitely a product that's up my alley. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So another thing, I haven't bought anything from REM Beauty or REM Beauty, which is Ariana's uh, line. Also, what does REM stand for? Oh, it's a song of hers that she wrote. Okay, well, that shows how much I know about her. Okay, anyway, um, so the Sweetener Concealer, this is like the first thing from this brand that has really caught my eye that I'm like, ooh, I actually wanna try it. So. It's in a pot, which sometimes pot concealers I freaking love, like the Bobbi Brown Correctors, like hoo -hoo, top tier. So I'm I'm really like perked up about this. There are a ton of shades, a ton of shades. So I'm like, I think I'd be light five in or something like, or yeah, I think that's what I grabbed. There's some shades sold out, but anyway, that's one that I am just interested in because I like pot concealers. I feel like they can be nice and creamy. A lot of times, because they're a little bit thicker than like a doe foot, I feel like I can get it to stay better than maybe just a traditional concealer. So that one is on my radar and definitely in my cart. But if there are any other products from that brand that you think I would like, let me know. I was thinking about doing like a try on video of more products all together in a video from that brand, so. Let me know as she's launching more and more it gets me just a little bit more excited because that initial launch i don't think there was a single thing i was like dying to try so i've been getting my nails done at the same nail salon for years same person i love it so i always get dipped powder nails and they have so many choices it's like unbelievably it's overwhelming in the best way but they recently got in like a cheaper brand and but they always have the cutest colors in that brand and so I got one and when I tell you this has lasted, like usually I'll do one of the more normal, like the brands they've always had like OPI. This is taking me forever to tell the story. It's not even a good story. But anyway, every time I have gone and gotten like OPI or one of those brands, it'll last me, the manicure lasts like three weeks, sometimes longer. This brand, and I, I don't know the name of it. If I figure it out, I'll let you guys know, but it is, I'm assuming cheaper for the nail salon. These, like every single one of them like broke, they've chipped, they've cracked, like the, not my nail, but the actual like powder dip on top. It is just, uh, this is like the first time I've really experienced like, wow, there is a very big difference in quality. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna men mention it to my nail tech, but it's just, I'm very unhappy with it. I'm glad you guys don't have to like look at my nails up close today because they look crazy. <laughs> That was so off topic and I have no idea. Okay, I didn't know Hourglass launched this new foundation. It looks like every single color is sold out. So it's their Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I love the idea of that. I don't know that there's been much from Hourglass when it comes to like their foundations that I've ever really liked. I tend to like like their powders, their blush and stuff like that. So I'd be curious to try it, but yeah, I don't know, is it, was it that big of a launch that it's just that sold out? It must be because literally every single one except for one color is sold out and it's definitely not my shade. So um, I'm curious about it. I'm not dying to try it so much that I need to buy it right this second, but I, I could see myself eventually trying it. Okay, where are all the drugstore ones that I saw earlier? Where are those? Something is going on with Ulta's site. Like, anyway, <laughs> don't get me started on Ulta's site. Kylie Cosmetics, anyone buying anything from that brand anymore? I think I bought maybe, I know I bought a blush from the brand once, but like, boy, they had a big run for a while and now I just don't hear anything about it. Are you guys excited for fall? It was a little early in July when I was seeing things, but no judgment because I'm like, man, who cares? If people want to celebrate fall starting in April, <laughs> who cares? Like, 
So I don't mind and I freaking love fall, but um, now that it's August, I'm like, even though it's 90 degrees out, I can get down with some fall stuff. Like I'm, I'm getting there mentally. Already been looking into pumpkin patches nearby that we haven't gone to. I'm just chatting while I continue to scroll. I'm trying to find all of the drugstore stuff I saw. Okay, well this is still not drugstore, but Smashbox Halo Sheer to Stay. <laughs> I get it, like here to stay. Sheer to Stay Cream Cheek and Lip Tint. So I want to try it just because I have tried nearly every launch <laughs> from like main makeup brands of liquid blushes because I love them so much. I'm wearing a Laura Mercier one today on my cheeks. But it just seems like, boy, a little late, huh? Smashbox, like <laughs> it just seems like, man. But I, there's six colors. I, I will probably pick one to try and buy it. So if you're curious, I will certainly try that in a video soon. By the way, a little PSA, my favorite Physicians Formula blush is finally being sold at, uh, or on Ulta's site. It's the Butter Believe It blush, but it's like a specific shade and I just love it. I don't, I'm trying to even think of where I ended up buying it from. I think I finally found it in store and just bought it that way because I couldn't find it online as easily. But um, big fan of this one. It is, especially if you're anywhere near my skin tone, I think you will love it. Uh, and it's now on Ulta's site. By the way, that blush shade is Pink Sands, if you were curious. Okay, this is still not the drugstore launch. I'm <laughs> kind of teasing you guys, it's coming. But this is Oma Beauty, and it's this Salute to the Sun line. And there is a drugstore version of Oma Beauty that I think is sold at Walmart. Maybe Ulta sells it too. But this is like the traditional Oma Beauty that's a little more expensive, so around $20, $25 for most of these products. But there's this liquid highlighter, there's a bomb mascara, drama bomb mascara, and there's an eyeliner. And all of them, first of all, I'm loving this packaging they're using. It's like gold. It reminds me of the L'Oreal Age Perfect line. Like a lot of their like gold packaging just always draws me in and makes me want to try it. This is no different. Looks like this highlighter might have a pump. If I can get this site to actually load, I do not know what is going on. It says it's a face and body highlighter. That's pretty cool. So yeah, that I've got my eye just on that line because it just looks kind of unique and different, mostly just for the packaging. I'm totally being sucked in. <laughs> All right, here we go. Makeup Revolution has a cream bronzer. I tend to like a lot from Makeup Revolution. I always accidentally get bronzers from them that are too dark though, so I need to like keep that in mind. Um, but it looks like there are four colors and I just love a good old cream bronzer, especially one that's just like this one is, where you can just take your brush. You guys know I love this EcoTools one and I just dip it right in and pat it right on and always a fan. So I think instead of the medium shade, for me I would get the next one down, the lightest shade. But see, sometimes the lightest shade just looks kind of orange. It's such a hard line to like balance, you know? So Makeup Revolution also has this liquid highlighter, $7. It's called their Super Dewy Liquid Highlighter. Again, they always nail the packaging because they always pull that gold in and it will pull me in every time. Gosh darn it. But I, uh, this, it just looks really pretty. Do I really need another liquid highlighter? No. <laughs> I really don't. Do I need another green bronze? I don't need any of this. But that's definitely one I'm like, maybe, but maybe. And the reality is too, I've I've been doing declutters, you guys know that. But I've really been thinking about like, for example, I'm embarrassed to say this Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer, I used it today and I was thinking about it and I was like, gosh, I've loved, I've liked this for a long time. I haven't used it in a while. And then I thought about like, I wonder when I bought this. It had to have been, and I am embarrassed to say this, it had to have been like six years ago. <laughs> like so long ago, I couldn't even tell you. I don't know where I bought it. I have just had this forever. And so knowing that it really makes me think of like even liquid highlighters I have like, how long have I had some of those? Because I've been decluttering and being pretty good about getting rid of a lot. But there are some that I think I'm still holding on to that I'm like, you know what, Jessica, it needs to go. So maybe there will be room for another liquid highlighter. <laughs> Who knows? Ah, Kiko Milano. See, but it's still $23. They have, it looks like, kind of a dupe packaging-wise for the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light wands that they have. Packaging-wise, it definitely looks like a dupe, but again, at $23, it's still expensive, you know? What is the difference? MAC now has their Fix Plus Stay Over setting spray. Okay, it's alcohol-free. I was gonna say, the difference between that and their original Fix Plus. Because I like the Fix Plus, 
But I like, I, does that one have alcohol in it? I guess I've never really thought about it. So it sets makeup for 16 hours, protection from pollution and blue light. That's pretty cool. And it says it's hydrating. I might consider that. They have a mini, which is what I would buy because I don't go through setting spray quickly enough, you know what I mean, to kind of make it worth it. So CoverGirl has a new, it says all over dewy tint. Now here's the thing. Do I have that one right here? No, that's a NYX one. I've tried a CoverGirl cheek tint and some people really like it. I did not like it. And I'm kind of wondering if this is the exact same thing, just in different packaging because it sounds like the same product. Why would they make two products that are basically the same within the same like year or two? Do you know what I'm saying? Maybe this one's a little dewier. The one I tried um, was in the shade Butterflies and it kind of had a metallic look and it just always looked patchy. So I'd be willing to give this a go, I guess, in the name of science, but it just seems odd that CoverGirl has launched two so closely together. I don't know. Have you guys tried that one? Let me know your thoughts. So Essence has launched some new stuff. And again, Essence is another brand. I'm like, I need to just do like a full face of Essence products because there are so many good things. But um, they now have this Glow Serum Primer. It's called Hello Good Stuff. It's $5.99. Um, that's one that like my eyes are on. I love a good glowy primer. They have their cranberry lip oil for $4.99 that looks kind of nice. I love a good lip oil. Even, even just throwing it on when I'm not wearing any makeup or just throwing it on when I'm doing my makeup. Just something different than just a lip balm. You guys know I use my Aqua 4 all day long, but it's nice to switch it up a little bit. So they also have this Brow Like a Boss Ink Brow Gel. And the brush looks weird. Let me pull this up. I haven't gone in store to an Ulta in a hot minute. I might need to do that sometime. Maybe I'll vlog it and then do like a try on at the end of the video because like I said, I couldn't tell you the last time I've been in store to an Ulta and that would be so fun. I always leave with way too much stuff because I get so excited to be in person and, and then I think about like videos I could do and I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so yeah, the brush, okay, no, this I won't like. The brush is really bizarre. It's kind of like you'd be painting on the brow gel. No, thank you. I can see why some people would like that, but it's just not, not my steez. So they also, this I got real excited about. They have Kissed by the Light Face Illuminator. It looks like it's got like blush, bronzer, and highlight tones all within it. So I would just swirl my brush and just make it my whole cheek look. You know what I mean? Just an all-in-one. Dang, that actually would be nice. $5.99, it looks really pretty. I really like Essence face products in general. Like they make really nice blushes, really nice highlighters, so. That's something that I am definitely going to buy. I also have <laughs> a new mascara. And I've told you guys, Essence is like the mascara leaders. Like they just make so many good ones. But they have one that's called Another Volume Mascara. Just better. It's, it's literally what it's called. <laughs> well, I might have to try that just because it's funny. $4.99. They also have a Fix and Last Gripping Primer. $5.99. I think a video is in our future, you guys. So let me pop on um, Instagram and look at, I just tried to type in Instagram. Uh, look at Trend Mood's page, cause she always has a lot of launches that either haven't launched yet that are fun to talk about. And if you guys have anything, like is there anything that you've maybe even seen, okay. Anything that you've maybe even seen in store that you're like, ooh, kind of curious about this, let me know. So ColourPop has, and I'm like late to the game. This was like posted a month ago, but this new Clay It Cool collection, is this even still available? That palette looks freaking gorgeous. It is the same family, if you will, to the um, ones I'm really loving, the Set in Stone one I really like. Very, very similar, like very similar and they have like a cream shadow in there that you can put on as the base and then the shadows look amazing on top. But I'm actually looking at the single shadows they have. I've been really into like doing a kind of purpley color all over the lid and then um, other days doing more of like a camel color all over the lid and that's it. And they have some really pretty camel colors in this collection so I'm like, mm, I might look into that. I'm not really seeing a ton of new, especially when it comes to like drugstore makeup. I have tried the new e.l.f. Halo Glow liquid filter. I um, have done a YouTube short slash reel slash TikTok. 
Jeez Louise. Uh, I can link below if you want to. I, I think I could even link a short uh, right up there um, of me trying it versus the Charlotte Tilbury so you can see them side by side. Um, I really like the e.l.f. one. All right, now let's look at Sephora's new releases. We'll try to go a little faster because I know I'm like taking my sweet time and some of you guys are like, Jessica, I got things to do. <laughs> so I'm scrolling through Sephora's new section and it, I'm not really seeing any, anything that's like standing out. This is the first, usually I feel like it's Sephora heavy, but this, ooh, 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 this is a hair care product, but this is the Amica Hydro Rush Intense Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. So you spray it in and it's got the kind of sprayer I really like because if your hands are slippery from whatever nonsense after the shower, you can still really get a good spray in. Um, and I, I always do some kind of spray in my hair to help like detangle and stuff, but I like that um, it's also hydrating, but it says it's also lightweight and non-greasy. So I have my eye on that. The Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Concealer. How are you luminous and matte? That makes absolutely no sense. Am I being crazy? I, huh? So someone explain that one to me. So yeah, I'm really not seeing much that's standing out as I'm scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Just, eh. So Ulta wins. <laughs> All to win so I don't know if there was no competition but they win anyway um, I hope that you enjoyed just sitting and chatting about new makeup releases let me know what you have your eyes on if there's anything that's newly launched that I totally missed I'm sure I'm sure there are a lot of things that I missed thank you again to Orby Parker for sponsoring a portion of this video if you want to try out Orby Parker for yourself I promise you will love it you can try on five pairs of glasses at home for free by going to warbyparker.com slash Jessica Braun and I will have that link, of course, right at the top of the description box. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to watch more of this style of video, I will link my playlist below. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.